Hey guys, today's video will be different than usual. No crazy editing, just some background footage and the voice overlay. I want to talk about my opinion on Skybox state of the game. Since I'm also streaming from time to time and I know quite some people, I witnessed a lot of complaints over time. So let's talk about them in this video and to tell you my take on the whole situation. Nonetheless, we're still going for YouTube rank. If you want to support me on the journey, you can subscribe to the channel for free. Okay, let's start with the video. I started playing Skyblock in late 2019, shortly after the end update. And pretty much ever since, people complained about not having enough content. There's a video from 30 Virus from August 2020, which is called Why the Content Drought is Real, where he talks about not having enough content. So as you can see, the topic isn't anything new, and we talked about it for at least 3 years. But is it actually the case? And what's my take on it? The short answer is, Skyblock is not dying. If that's all you want to know, you can stop watching now. If you want to know about my reasons for that take, keep watching. The player count decreases. One of the takes I got multiple times is, Skyblock's player count decreases. Technically, this is true. If you compare today's player count with the one from 2020 and 2021, today we have way less players. But why is this the case? During 2020 and 2021, there was a small pandemic called COVID-19, which affected just a few people. A lot of people were forced to stay at home, and homeschooling or home office were just as popular as ever. I know from trusted sources, and myself, just because you took part in an online class or meeting, it didn't mean you weren't gaming. Also people who meet up with friends on a regular basis couldn't do that and had to stay at home, mostly resulting in gaming. Ever since COVID is pretty much over, less people are gaming, resulting in lower player accounts. I'll link your website in the description on which you can check Hypixel's player account and you will see the player count is pretty much the same as late 2019 and early 2020, before COVID started. So we still got a decent player base to work with. There is no content. The argument you get the most is, there is no content. But is there actually no content? If you take Supi's level leaderboard API, I will link it in the description as well, you can check the levels of the top players and get a leaderboard for the levels. There are only 13 players who are done with XP right now, and about 25 people who are working on the last level. So technically, there are only about 25 people who can say, I don't have enough content. But that isn't even the full story. Even when you're done with Skyblock XP, it still doesn't mean you got nothing to do. You can max your equipment or prepare for new updates, which instantly gets me to my next topic. Skyblock isn't fun. That's something I've heard a lot of times in the past for years. And well, that's just wrong. What can be true is, Skyblock isn't fun for you. It's unfortunate if that's the case, but that's a you issue. There are a lot of people who enjoy Skyblock as much as on day one. I'm one of those. And you've got the freedom to do whatever you like in Skyblock. There are people with billions upon billions of farming XP. There's even someone with over a billion foraging XP. You can go for max Skyblock XP. You can go for millions of Slayer XP. Hundreds of billions of net worth. All pet skins. All dice. Etc. Etc. If you take today's content and start off on a new profile, assuming they aren't adding anything new, it will probably take you about one year, if I have to guess 3 to 4k hours, to get max XP. And that's assuming you can play about 10 to 12 hours a day. Most people can't, which means you've got content for even longer. And they are also adding new content over time. But I get to updates in a bit. Skyblock was and is a grind game, and not everyone is made for grinding. Look out for something you enjoy and have fun doing that. My goal for example is to have a maxed profile one day. As for right now, I do have a far progressed profile. I'm pretty much just missing some garden content. But since I will restart for a YouTube series, I'm not focusing on XP anymore. My goal for this profile is to finish the whole pet skin collection, so I'm grinding a lot of coins recently. Subscribe to the channel to not miss out on the new series, a lot of streams and uploads are planned for that. But yeah, this pretty much concludes the chapter if Skyblock is fun. It's fun if you find something that's fun for you, same with everything else. The supply of content is there, you just need to use it. The updates are bad. In this chapter I will talk about Skyblock's update policy and my opinion on updates. As you might know from the new year's post, Skyblock gets major updates every 3 weeks. Content wise I think they are completely fine. As explained earlier, we've got enough content. Here's a quick recap of the post. Hypixel used 2023 to work on a lot of QOL stuff and things in the background we might not see as casual players. For 2024, they plan on releasing way more content than we've got in 2023. While we talk about content for 2024, the first thing that comes to mind is the foraging update. It's long awaited and I fully understand it takes a long time. You have to see it that way. All of Skybox's features are coded with Minecraft 1.8.9 in mind. For foraging, they want to approach a new version of Minecraft. I think they talked about Minecraft 1.20. Depending on how the update is planned, sooner or later they have to make sure every single item and mechanic we've got right now works exactly the same in a newer version. For some items this procedure might be easier, but for some they have to recode the whole item or gameplay mechanic. 
which can take somewhat between hours and weeks for a single mechanic. Nonetheless, they have to port the whole core gameplay as we know it to the new version. For example, the way stats apply to a player's profile, which is an insanely large task by itself, not even including all of the rest. Since we have thousands of items by now, this takes a while. And they should rather take the time making the update good, than it being buggy and nothing works as intended. So while I'm looking forward to future updates, and I'm kinda happy with the current situation, there isn't just praise from my side. There are three things I very much dislike and I really hope they improve on. First, the communication. 99.9% .9 of players don't know what's going on behind closed curtains, so I would really hope they start communicating more. For example, a weekly or monthly dev blog would help with the situation, or an interview with a content creator every few months, so the community gets updated on what's going on right now. We love to get some screenshots like we did when they showcased the foraging island in one of their idea threads. They make the community feel connected to the developers and don't create a feeling of us being left behind. Another thing I dislike a lot is the way some updates are released, either on alpha or even the main server. While the alpha is there for testing, they pushed some updates to it, they didn't even talk to Skyblock nerds about it. For example, the ability transfusion or attributes on all items are updates they put work into before talking to anyone about it. That time could have been used for other updates, but the main server isn't free from problems too. The latest example that comes into my mind is the taming update. It wasn't even on the alpha server and just got pushed to the main. I'm completely fine with the amount of content and XP they added. Sure, it wasn't much, but it was a neat little addition. But on release, if you used the third slot in Fen's GUI, it wiped away your pet. Also, if you've had a taming level between 51 and 60, so literally played the update, it wasn't if you were taming zero, so you didn't get any extra pet XP. Those are bugs that shouldn't happen on release. I'm developing myself, so I fully understand you can't fix every bug preemptively. But those are bugs you can find by literally testing what you just did and if everything works like it should. And this is just one of many avoidable bugs. These leave a bad taste within the community. No one talks about if an update might be good if it's buggy in the first place. They got better, especially with dupes. I don't want to deny that. If I remember back in the day, there were way more wipes and dupes, but it's still far from perfect. Another thing I don't like is every admin is doing their own thing. At least that's what it feels like. You have one lead admin for a project that's doing most of its content and depending on who it is, you notice a substantial difference in quality. In Germany we have a saying, it's called everybody is cooking their own soup, which basically means they aren't working together and everyone just does their own thing. I feel like that's something that would heavily improve the quality of updates. We would be totally fine if we just got an update every two months or so, but that update includes a lot of content and grind, so we've got something to do until the next update releases. And sure, someone who plays 12 hours a day will be done sooner than someone only playing 1-2 to two hours a day, no question. But that's something a sweet spot has to be found for. So to end off the video and conclude everything I said, in my opinion Skyblock is not dying. But if they don't improve on update quality in terms of bugs and communication, I feel like it can